YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot today. I'm bringing a brand new video. I hope you guys are enjoying Call of Duty Ghosts, and I believe this this class selection video is going to help you guys get the advantage over everybody else that you're playing, uh, because a lot of people don't have this kind of knowledge yet, and I think it's important that a lot of my followers are able to get that inside track, uh, so they are in an advantageous position when they first jump onto the game. Uh, you're gonna have to do a little bit of leveling up just so that you can unlock more points, so that you can unlock more guns. But uh, what I'm about to show you is probably uh, very considered to be overpowered and a lot of pro players think it needs to be nerfed or patched for uh, this game to be balanced because they think it is a one burst machine and if you don't know what I'm talking about already it's going to be the MSBS it is high damage three round bursts perfect for anybody who wants to roam around the map and just slay anything in their sight whether it be kill confirmed, team deathmatch, or cranked, any of the thing of the sort, this gun will do it for you. I'm not a big fan of any other site besides the red dot, so we're going to keep that on. Uh, there's a few other... <coughs> No, I'm sorry about that. There's a few other options, but I think the red dot is your best bet just because I am a big fan of the classics. And then I'm going to put down a muzzle brake, which will, uh, it's basically long barrel, increases damage at long range. You could use uh, the flash suppressor or the silencer, but in my opinion, I think longer range damage and distance is the key. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't really think handguns in, in any Call of Duty really have been that relevant. These are only for those one or two kills that you can't get because you don't have enough time to reload or you're just too close of a distance to use your actual gun, which isn't very often. But uh, I'm just going to give you guys the default pistol since that is the one that is unlocked when you first get the game. Uh, no secrets here. I'm not going to put on like the PDW because I, I don't imagine any of you guys have it unlocked yet. Uh, but for lethals and tacticals, I'm actually going to leave those out because I think perks are a lot more important than grenades and stuns or anything like that. Uh, I know a lot of you guys might disagree with me on that, but I really do personally personally think uh, that nades and stuns for fast paced games like cranked really aren't that important. Now I, I know I might get crucified for that, uh, but trust me guys, uh, that's just my preference. You can switch that up, but I would rather have more perks that really affect the game uh, than just a uh, nade and a stun that I might not use or it might not be a viable option in gunfights and stuff like that. So like I said in yesterday's video, the most important perk is going to be stalker. And then since you guys are using an assault rifle, I would definitely throw on focus so that when you get into a gunfight, you don't have any flinch and you, you hit all of your shots. You don't want to miss anything because you're getting shot at. And then we are going to put on quick draw, which obviously takes up another three. I know that we are using very uh, high point perks, but trust me, guys, like I said in yesterday's video, movement is the most important. And you want to make sure with quick draw that you can aim faster than your opponent because if he's not running quick draw you're 100 percent going to have that first shot and you're probably going to win the gunfight since um damage and health is so high and health is so low and then uh, we're going to do one more which is going to be ready up again this is a speed perk this is going to allow you to aim quicker off sprint for a guy like me i sprint a lot and i need to be able to aim as quickly as possible and then uh, we only have one point left. I'm not a big fan of strong arm, obviously, since we don't have lethals or tacticals. Uh, Takedown uh, without revealing death locations. I mean, that's that's useful, but I don't think we'll need that. Recon, again, I don't have any tacticals or lethals. I think we're going to have to go on and put Gambler. Uh, Gambler, what it does is it will give you a random perk when you spawn in. And I really, I really like gambling, so I, I guess I'm going to press my luck with this, this perk. I think it'll be a very good complement to this class. Now, again, I know a lot of you guys might disagree with me, but right now, I think this is probably one of the most powerful guns. Uh, you got the red dot, which will help you aim as quickly and best as possible. The secondary, I don't use too often. And then perks, all about movement. As you guys can see, that adds up to 10 points uh this is going to give you guys an, a huge advantage and then strike package we will go down to assault and to be honest with you for me i get a lot of kills i don't like the satcom because i think my teammates who are just picking up the game are going to have that i'm going to put on the dog i'm going to put on the trinity rocket <coughs> i'm so sorry guys and then i'm going to put on maniac this in my opinion is the one of the best assault rifle classes that you guys can use i think this will get you a lot of kills and uh, i hope you guys have happy hunting uh, with this class let me know what you guys thought please leave a like comment and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys are enjoying call of duty ghosts and i hope you guys are enjoying the channel thank you guys so much for watching and let me know how it goes for you guys youtube we'll see you fudging later